a roof over their heads, even if it's just a tent, and a hot meal. Here in Vishna Nemetska, Slovakia, they've found shelter from the attacks of the Russian army in their homeland. Oksana arrived here from western Ukraine just a few hours ago with her two children. I was so afraid for my children. We had to flee. All of us had to flee. I don't know what to do now. Oksana is relieved that she is safe here for the time being. But she still can't comprehend the whole catastrophe of the war. I don't want to call myself a refugee. I want to go back home, where my children were happy. I want to... I'm just so scared. Lydia also just made it across the border with her children. She's afraid for her husband, who can't be with his kids right now, but has to fight the Russian soldiers. We are all worried, but what should we do? My husband told us to go and then we went. We may never see each other again. This is not right. If we all have to die, we want to die together. It's not right that my husband is in Ukraine and we are here. You don't want to leave your home. Like Lydia and Oksana, thousands of women and children are fleeing Ukraine for neighboring countries. The families here are trying their best to hold up. Especially the mothers do all they can to shield their children from the horrible situation they are in. But when you speak to them a little bit longer, you realize just how traumatized they are by the war in their home country. Marianne Lezzo is one of the volunteers who takes care of them. They are said it's uh, not very surprising because yesterday they had normal lives and today they are here in Slovakia. And I believe they didn't plan to come here, so it's different for them. They have different lives now. For now, they can only wait until their feet will be on solid ground again.